Hi, we're back in the kitchen. I'm in my cozy clothes. It's a cozy kind of evening. I thought it'd be really cute to bring you guys into my dinner routine and sort of cook up um, some food together. Sit down and eat it together, whatever the drill is for you this evening. If you're making food with me or if you're just eating the food. I thought that we could join each other. Um, I watch a disgusting amount of Trisha Paytas. I say a disgusting amount because it's got to the point where it's unhealthy. Um, it's an obsession. I'm hugely fascinated by people who live completely parallel universes to myself. I love watching YouTubers that either are crazily relatable and somebody who I see so much of myself in, such as Mark Ferris. I love Mark Ferris, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. He just reminds me of me. And then the other type of YouTuber I love watching is one that I just cannot relate to at all. There are some things that I do relate to in Treasure, but the majority not. It's so interesting and fascinating to watch. But the reason why I'm mentioning that is because she makes a lot of something called buttered noodles. It sounds fancy, but all it literally is is cooking some spaghetti and putting some butter in it and Bob is your uncle. So today I'm gonna make some myself. I'm gonna sit down and have a mukbang style video with you guys. If that's all right, come join me for tonight's chill out sesh. A very carish dinner. The way Trisha talks about it is as if it's super complex housewife flex or something but <laughs> I appreciate simple straightforward dinners and I'm not the best cook in the world so I get it. I'm gonna add a bit of salt just to hurry up the process of the water heating. Is that a myth? Probably. Oh let's just hide the KFC bag. Can you recycle this? Honestly, I spend half of my life saying, can you recycle this? Why don't brands make it more straightforward and simple? <sighs> it's honestly one of my biggest pet peeves. So, I got something really exciting that I also wanted to eat today. A king prawn ring. I'm a pescatarian. I don't eat chicken, beef. Chicken, beef. Pig. Sometimes I forget what the options are. But I do eat fish and I, I love prawns. I love big prawns specifically. And I thought prawn rings were only a thing at Christmas time. I found this in Home Bargains. I think it was in the freezer sec section. I was like, get one of those. So I'm literally gonna sit eating my buttered noodles. And my mouth is watering just thinking about eating those king prawn rings. The king prawn ring, the king prawns. Um, <laughs> so that's gonna be my dinner. This is what I mean, it's a very chilled, relaxed one. And I'm actually gonna add the garlic butter that I made for my cheese dough balls the other day. Just some normal butter as well. So it's actually gonna be like a, a butter, a garlic butter, garlic butter noodles. I wonder if Trish has tried that. Trish, if you're watching, why would she be watching? Maybe give it a whirl. Split this in half. If you're gonna do that, by the way, keep it close to your chest and have a tight grip because some, a few people have said to me that they tried snapping their spaghetti in half like I do and it just went all over the kitchen. So I've drained the spaghetti. I've put it back on the heat with like a tiny bit of water. I think it's at this point we add salt. I'm literally just going off what I see her do in vlogs. She adds a frick ton of salt. I'm gonna add a bit more than what I'd usually do. And then I guess we add the butter. Whoa. <laughs> Which I guess melts. That's a lot of butter. This is not good for you. And then the garlic butter. I'm not gonna add a lot of this. I'm just gonna add like that amount. Mix it in, I guess. That garlic butter, by the way. It tastes like Ali Oli. And that's like professional stuff. I'm so proud of myself. Do your thing, noodles. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is pretty much done, so. The garlic, though. That's actually pretty nice, not gonna lie. 10 out of 10 would have again. Whoa. 
Look at all that steam. Whoa. <laughs> Why is there so much steam? <laughs> all right, flowers, chill. They are pretty, pretty. Look at that, yeah. I'm buzzed. I'm buzzed to be eating this food. I'm buzzed to be doing a mukbang. I'm buzzed to have the king noodle, king noodles, king prawn ring. <laughs> I'm buzzed for a plethora of different reasons. Mm -hmm. Where do I begin? So the butter has like, the spaghetti has like soaked up all the butter that was originally sitting as a pool underneath the noodles. Mm. It's just very, very pleasant. Mm. Mm. I know like there's a lot of salt and butter in this, but usually when I make spaghetti dishes, I use a sauce. Like most people have like a tomato sauce or something that goes on top of the spaghetti. And this like feels very flavorsome without needing to do that. So I don't know if this is just as bad as having a sauce or a little bit better. I'm not really sure. But it feels better because it's just pasta, if that makes sense. <laughs> I love that I say that, but I'm literally about to eat a whole king prawn ring. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a lot of early spring cleaning. And when I say spring cleaning, I just mean like window ledges, the back of my bed, like behind the bedside tables. And like, you know, it's that season where the sun is starting to shine in all of the places that maybe you didn't realize needed a clean throughout the winter such as your windows like i've noticed as soon as the sun started coming up i could see that our windows needed cleaning so i was like right should probably get to doing that and that's felt really good like it's i've done it like a little bit early deliberately because i'm excited for spring so much this year i'm usually always really excited for spring but this year in particular because obviously lockdown and winter has been really tough on everybody we all deserve a little bit of sunshine right now and i'm just contemplating how i can't when it comes to actual windows i have no idea how to clean them i tried doing it last year and i just left like smear marks that literally show every time the sun shines smear marks appear on the windows that i tried to clean literally last year so i need to get better at that and start practicing that maybe i can look up some look up some window cleaning youtube tutorials <laughs> but honestly i'm just buzzing the sun shone for the first time like properly it was a really nice weekend recently and us being the typical british people we were like let's have a barbecue adam bought this little cute ass portable barbecue which is amazing because it's it's sort of similar to those disposable ones but it's slightly bigger and it's more durable and it has legs so you can like sit it in different places you can take it with you to like the beach and stuff you can like literally walk it around like a freaking like suitcase and i think that's adorable and it's genius like we got it from amazon i'll leave a link if you're interested down there but we had a little barbecue in the yard and it was the first time we've ever had a little barbecue in the yard before other summers i've just been like nervous about doing it i think i just assumed that like the neighbors would get annoyed or something but they, i've just i don't care anymore and it was so cute like we've got a new fence been and gate that has been put up in our yard recently i know it's a random topic of conversation but our landlords are really on top of things like if something's not updated or up to standard like she'll get someone to sort it out and so we got a new gate put in and it looks really fancy and it's nearly finished and it just makes the place look a bit more fresher it's freshened up the yard a bit and it's made me kind of fall back in love with it and excited about spending lots of time out there and putting loads of fairy lights up for the winter oops sorry <laughs> for the evenings in the summer is what i was supposed to say when it's dark and like there's still light out there. I can imagine that being really cozy. I just want to spend more time out there and put more love into the garden. I mean, last year I tried to like grow a load of flowers and stuff and I put like so much energy into that that I didn't even like enjoy the space. Do you know what I mean? I was just stressing about whether things were growing or not. <laughs> I'm curious to find out whether in the summer things that I planted the year before grows back because at the moment all the plant pots just look like dead and gone and I don't know if they revive or they just die forever, I don't know. 
how do plants work? I'm still getting to understand how the hell plants work, I don't know. So a lot more barbecues I feel like might happen this summer and also hopefully a lot of lockdown restrictions will be lifted by July, end of June, July which is is amazing timing and also not amazing timing because that's right by my birthday and although most people will be like oh my god you must be so excited because it means you can plan stuff and arrange stuff actually it just made things more stressful for me because i'm torn about whether i want to like do something like here have a little gathering or go out and like go clubbing when it'll be really really busy i feel like most places that you want you'd want to go to on the weekend after lockdown has been restricted will be ticketed and really like just insanely busy and probably overwhelming like i'm trying to decide what i want to do on that weekend um before my birthday all i all i know is i want to get drunk and dance so i'll probably have to go out to achieve that so that's exciting but also just weird to think about like the whole night will just be me there like pinching myself and just feeling weirded out by crowds of people. <laughs> Who here has had their vaccine jab yet? I'd be interested to know. I wish I could do a poll in the comment section because I was really shocked about how much of the population has been vaccinated at this point, which makes sense, hence why they're contemplating releasing lockdown by June but it's crazy mm. not gonna I don't even know what I want to talk about I'm just here to vibe with some noodles I'll be interested in feedback though, like I want to know what your plans are. For those of you who live in the UK, you'll know that we've been given like a roadmap, which is basically a roadmap of the way out of lockdown, I don't know. Basically we have been told that there's a series of events that will happen up until end of June, which ease us out of lockdown and back to normality and We've been promised by the government that there will be there will not be another lockdown and this is our way out and all of that stuff because everyone will be vaccine etc which some people find hard to believe some people are buzzing about um but most people in the uk are just like you know it's given us a glimpse of hope so even if maybe the back of our minds we're like oh i don't believe this is possible um at least it gives us something do you know what i mean like for so long we've just been sat around like not knowing at least it's something but i'd be interested to know how many people watching this have plans for that day are you really eager to get out are you excited are you more kind of nervous are you not really interested in like having a big night out for the first time in the year like i want to know i know a lot of people who are just excited to be in restaurants again and pubs so many people i've spoken to have been like i just want to get back in a pub i just miss um dancing in loud spaces personally but I kind of feel the same amount, like I miss them the same amount as I do when I can go clubbing but haven't gone clubbing in a while if that makes sense. Like I, do, I am not someone who goes clubbing every weekend. So like when there's been a lot of weekends without me going out, out, I'm like oh I miss that feeling. So I'm kind of, I don't really feel too different as I would usually if that makes sense. Which is surprising because it's been a whole freaking year. Literally as well. Um, just over a year because my last night out was in uh, central London which was really cool it's kind of a good way to go out to be fair like my last night was a was quite a big one and a good one so that was exciting but Jesus like felt like another lifetime ago now I'm gonna try these now <laughs> I've just been like staring at them and like wanting to devour it it comes with a little sweet chili sauce oh god it's dripping. Oh, are these a thing in like other countries or is it just the UK? <laughs> As a kid, my nan always used to get like the double ones that used to have like one and then two around the edge of it. I've never seen them anywhere. I don't know where the hell she used to get them. But as a kid, I, I promised myself that when I was old enough, I would buy 
the double king prawn rings for myself. <laughs> Cause she'd have them at like family buffets and I would shove so many prawns in my mouth when no one was looking. <laughs> and then it turned out that everyone knew I used to do that and I thought I was sneaky, but really. My nan would be like, I got you the king prawn ring cause I know how much you like them and I'll be, I'll be mortified. How dare she know? It's crazy how like, oh, this is rock solid. <laughs> Do I, I might have to defrost this in the microwave eh? because it's a little bit rock solid. Okay, I finally got my prawns defrosted. I didn't realize that our microwave makes weird noises when you use a defrosting mode. It's like, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Do you know I put these in for like a good four minutes? Ooh. Honestly, buzzing. Ooh, a platter. Call me crazy, but I'm sure these prawn rings have gotten smaller over the years because the prawns used to be bigger. Unless I just felt that way because I was a small child. This is my version of living like a king. Pasta, prawn ring. Imagine living like a king someday. Mm. This is what Kellen was really singing about. I'm sorry, I can't even think to talk. This is the thing, right? As you guys know, I'm a big advocate for mindful eating. It's very hard to mindful eat when something tastes as good as this. I just want to go Tom and Jerry style or something. <sighs> mm, here's another question. I love how I'm giving you like so many comment questions of the day in this video. If you had to pick your last ever supper, your last ever dinner, your last ever meal, starters, main and dessert, what would yours be? My starters would be prawn cocktail, definitely. Prawn cocktail is basically a bunch of prawns, seafood sauce, lettuce. Mm. My main would involve smoked salmon. It would be like a smoked salmon chow mein of some sort, like a, a really nicely made chow mein. I make good chow meins personally, but I just love chow mein with like vegetables, stir fried veg with smoked salmon on the side. Oh. And then my dessert, those like chocolate, those cream eclairs that you can get, like the, what, what are they called? They're like, they're, <laughs> they're like profiteroles, but the long ones, like the cream cakes that you can get. Oh, I either love those. You know, the ones that have like the squirted cream on top with the jam. Oh my God, I can't even cope right now. Either that or um, specifically a Adam's grandma special. <laughs> makes it sound like I'm eating his grandma. Uh, <laughs> Betty makes a really good, um, sponge cake with like cream and jam in it. It's literally just a Victoria sponge, but with like the jam, it's like Victoria sponge cake, but on crack. Like the jam is quadrupled, the cream is quadrupled. It's so big and fat that it literally slides off the plate. Oh, um, so that would be the pudding. 
what about you? I want to know yours. And uh, everyone else can vote for the best sounding one. <laughs> debate it. I want to debate. I want arguments in the comments about the best food there ever is. Mm. See, I feel like there's like a pool of butter here and to me that's like wasted butter. I'm one of those really annoying people that always talk about not wasting food. Like, it just annoys me when people throw things away or like don't make the most of something they buy or like let things go out of date or throw things because they're like a day out of date. I'm just one of those people that are like, nah, we can make this work. Not like shove it in your gob even though you're not hungry kind of, kind of thing, but let's like try and make it useful of some kind. I don't know where I got that from because I'm not, I don't think my mum's like that. I don't know if I, I mean, I might have been a little bit brought up like that, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I don't have loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever wonder about <clears throat> what you'd be like if you were born in a different family or if you were born rich? Like, I was watching uh, Rich Kids Go Skint the other day and I was thinking to myself, I wonder what my personality would be like and the way I saw life and the way I like, and the way my attitude is with food and clothes and makeup and my style. If I had like, unlimited money. I always think of stuff like that. Like even my friendship circle, what would that be like? Um, my house, my home, my relationship, my family, stuff like that. Because even though we don't think about it on a daily basis, I find it so interesting that our income shapes a massive, well it shapes our entire world, obviously. Like we are ruled by our bank balance and that blows my mind. That's so interesting to me. Like I'd just love I'd love to just see a, a photo of myself, like a one a one single image of how I would look as someone who is rich. Would I be really skinny? Or would I be bigger because I ate loads of food all the time because I had all the money to do that? <laughs> would I have work done on my face, on my body, because I hang around with people that get that done on a regular and find it like normal and like common. Would my hair be less damaged because I actually pay someone to do it for me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't keep saying it, but I just can't deal. Whoa, that was a close save. I'm gonna try out on some of this butter. Would that be weird? Mm. It just tastes like when you have prawn pasta. Prawn pasta? Prawn and pa in the pasta dish? Nothing beats sweet chili sauce with prawns. Mm. <sighs> anyway, <sighs> I can't breathe. So I think that's a good sign that I should stop. <sighs> Do you know a really random thought just like flew into my head that I wanted to ask you guys about. Another question I'm asking you guys about. Why am I asking so many questions in this video? Did anyone else watch the Tracy Beaker Returns um, series that aired on TV on CBBC the other day. It was, Tra no, it wasn't called Tracy Beaker Returns, was it? It was like Tracy Beaker's, no. I can't remember what it was called, but it basically was Tracy, like the same actor, Danny Harmon, um, Tracy Beaker, as a mum, and like you, sh it shows how she grew up and what happened and like, ugh. Her bloody foster mum ended up being gay and she gets, oh, I don't want to give it away. Do you know what? I'm not going to say too much in case you haven't watched it yet, but please watch it. I really want them to carry on and do another one. It was a bit cheesy and corny, but that's just kids TV for you. I'm sure if I was to watch some old Tracy Beaker episodes, it would be the same. But like, I was kind of watching it and cringing quite a lot, but I feel like that's probably just because it's kids TV. Like, as an adult, you analyse acting a bit more and you analyse story writing and the plot and 
I was just a bit like, hmm. But it was good fun. Anyway, that's just a random thing. I used to love Tracy Beaker growing up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like. I just realised how weird this setup is. Like, I don't even know what you can see right now. Don't forget to like this video if you like mukbangs and you want to see me do more mukbangs on this channel or cooking videos on this channel. I'm on social media such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I have a Facebook tarot reading page. If you want to book a tarot reading with me, you can do that by messaging me on any of my social medias, particularly my Facebook page because that's specifically for my tarot readings. That is all. Thank you very much and I will see you guys for my next video which will be very, very soon. Bye! Oh, I'm so full.